Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name is DRL. We are here with some NBA 2K Mobile. Season 5 Halloween packs are officially inside the store. We're going to be doing a pack opening and going for this Pearl Kevin Durant. Pretty insane. And if you didn't catch my video early in the week, this theme is jam-packed with a ton of players that you can craft. And there's a lot of collectibles that you can earn from grinding the events, both the mini events and the weekly events. It's definitely a great time to be playing NBA 2K Mobile. Now with the 3v3 gauntlet event around the corner, you have an opportunity to get a few different packs here. So if you specifically want to go for the point guards, there's a pack that just has the point guards in it, which is pretty cool. And it comes with the position rows, which allows you to re-row the position that you're going to use for the 3v3 gauntlet. And there's also the prime packs too. This is another way to try to get players on your squad. As you can see, if you buy the first two packs, you get the third one for free. And the third pack also has a chance to get the Kevin Durant. There is the season five Halloween pack, which also has the KD in it. A lot of other the players inside this theme and you get three collectibles. And then we got the elite pack, which gives you an opportunity to get the Pearl Luca, who's also an event reward. The J. Carl Anthony Towns, the Bam Adebayo, the Kyrie Irving, the Andrew Wiggins, and the Patrick Ewing. Then for the second tier, you also get a chance to get this Pearl Kevin Durant, the Jade Kenyon Martin, the Topaz Trey Young, the Blake Griffin, the John Morant, and the Darius Garland, along with five collectibles. So big shout out to NBA 2K Mobile for sponsoring this video. We're going to be opening up two of these elite packs and let's see who we can pull. With those two elite packs, we will get 10 collectibles, which will give us a chance to craft some of the players for this theme. With 10 collectibles, we can craft a Dark Matter Kyrie Irving. I got enough of the rings and I also will have enough for the collectibles. But let's say I didn't want to craft Kyrie Irving and I wanted to wait until the end of the event. We could do Trey Young. I can also do the Anthony Edwards, who's an event reward. Or I could try to do another Luca. Now, the cool thing about grinding the events is that you also get these collectibles too. The eyeball collectibles, the skull collectibles, and the candy corn collectibles, which you get a chance of earning for every win that you get inside the mini and weekly events. So let's see, you can craft some really good players like a J. Carr, Anthony Towns. That's a solid player to craft. Blake Griffin as well. And you notice that some of these players are also inside that pack. And then by grinding the regular event, you get a chance to craft a John Morant. The Kyrie Irving, which I listed earlier. So there's a lot of options. All right, so now that we broke that down, it is time to open up these packs. Let's get that hype music going. Let's get into it. So here we go, first pack. You know the deal already, collectibles on our right. Come on, baby, come on, let's get some heat. Collectibles on our right. And what we got here, we got a Patrick Ewing. Knicks Nation, that's what I'm talking about. A Knicks player or a Nets player, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's keep it going. We got John Morant. We on our Grizzly right now, we got John Morant. This is a W pack already. Cause John Morant is definitely balling out of control. I'm pretty hyped. Let's keep it going. We still got a whole nother pack going and we already got heat. Come on, baby, come on, next pack, Mojo. Let's see what we get in here. Come on, come on, come on. Spinning that round and round. Who we got here? Collectibles on the right, who's in the middle? Patrick Ewing again. Now I'm usually happy to get a Nick, but I hope I get a different play on the next one. Let's see, let's cross our fingers. Who we got here? And we got Darius Garland. I'm all right with that under normal circumstances, but because it's 3v3 gauntlet, I can only use one point guard. But either way, Darius Garland is definitely a good card to get. I definitely one of the upcoming stars in the NBA and the Cleveland Cavaliers are gonna make some noise for sure. So let's make our squad right now. We got Patrick Ewing and we got two of them, so I can upgrade them. I'm gonna upgrade them, right? You know, if you get that duplicate, it's an easy upgrade. So that's a cool thing. And this Halloween artwork is insane, man. They definitely did their thing. Just with the animations in the background, it's pretty sick. Like aside from the artwork, the animation is crazy. All right, so we upgraded Ewan, put a lock on him. So that way I don't train him away. And then for the point guards, we're gonna go with John Morant. Now for those of you that had the Dark, the dark Matter underdogs, John Morant, you know that this card is pretty good. John Morant though, you have to bring up his shooting stats. Point shot is really streaky. So if you got some shoes that could bring up the three point shot, it'll definitely work out for you. We got these Converse right here that can work. These Converse. 
So that brings up his three-point shot to a five. Hoping his second ability will also bring up his defending or his playmaking. That would make him pretty solid to use. As far as Patrick Ewing, though, he is on a bit slower side. So if we can get some shoes that will boost up his playmaking. Here we go. We got some PG 2K17s. I don't have the second attribute, but we should be able to get that ranked up by playing the gauntlet. So we brought up his playmaker to five. This will make a big difference, especially in 3v3 gauntlet. Where you kind of lead your players to be faster. Since there's only three running down the cruise court. Should be interesting. Now, as far as players, we can craft somebody now. Right, I'm going to need another player for the event. I'm not going to do a, a point guard. So that eliminates already the Topaz, Trey Young, the Kyrie Irving, and the John Morant. But we could do Al Horford if we wanted to. Tobias Harris or Macau Bridges. I already got a point guard and I already got a center. So really the only two options I got to craft that will make sense is Tobias Harris and Macau Bridges. But I think I'm going to wait on that. I'm not too crazy about crafting them. So what I'll do is with the event, we'll get Bam Adebayo as soon as the event is started. So he will replace Patrick Ewing. And then once we get to the third tier, we'll be able to throw in Anthony Edwards. So that will be our third position player. So we'll have the center, shooting guard, and the point guard. So we'll have to keep re-rolling to get that in order to get that 100%. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do for the event. Uh, if you do need a guide, I dropped one early in the week. And if you want a game plan and you're in a similar situation as me, you know, you definitely can take advantage of what I just recommended. But aside from that, are you hype about this event? Are you going to be grinding for the collectibles as well, the craft players? Let me know in the comments. As always, I appreciate all the support everyone's been showing on the channel. We got the rankings for the top centers coming soon as well. Be sure to tune in for that. As always, I'll catch everybody in the next one. Peace out.